नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते गोपाल भैया शमला दीदी तारा भैया नमस्ते ऑल वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नाउ वी विल मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट शेयरिंग सो नेक्स्ट शेयरिंग इज बाय जंपाना उषा जी नमस्ते दीदी मैं किस पास से हूँ नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सभी को आई विल पुट योर ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड देन यू कैन प्लेस योर शेयरिंग विथ इन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स या जपाना उषा जी शी इज वर्किंग एज अ फैकल्टी मेंबर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश इन रघु इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एट विशाखापटनम आंध्र प्रदेश शी कंप्लीटेड हर यू विच बी इंट्रोडक्टरी इन जून 2021 एंड यू विच बी टू इन अगस्त 2022 एंड शी इज अटेंडिंग द मॉर्निंग सेशन इन द 10th बैच दैट इज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सो विद दिस ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन आई वेलकम उषा जी फॉर योर शेयरिंग इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन ओवर टू उषा जी thank you bhaiya um as my already gave my introduction so i i would like to tell about my family regarding my family i live with my husband and my mother in law my husband is also working in an educational institution and he got retired in november 2023 and my i have a son and he completed his education and now he is working in us and this is about my family and coming to my uhv journey already i completed uhv 1 in 2021 and 2 in 2022 and after that i i was in touch with the content now and then i was trying to help others when they were doing their uh, uh, uhv 1 and 2 and i had the privilege of attending a five day face to face UHV 2 FDP at Geetam University in Visakhapatnam in May 2024 like that was a kind of a significant point which deepened my journey of the self exploration and as by already told that i am a participant of the morning sessions on the 10th batch after my face to face workshop i realized that i often suppress my feelings at work and i carry them home like which affect my relationship with my husband and my mother in law i sought solutions through various spiritual practices and visited many spiritual places but all these were providing only a temporary relief and i believe that i was right and that the others needed to change and the others needed to understand me i didn't know where to find a solution i was in search of a solution however after engaging with the content and especially the face to face workshop i felt i had finally found something that i was searching for and and i know i'm not completely into it but still i have to explore much in it but i started doing it coming to the step uh, step wise observation exercise 1 i can observe my imagination desire and thought and expectations without reacting though this is not consistent i ca- i can't do it like always consciously if i stick to it consciously if i spend some time with it then i do it many a times all of them get mixed up and seeing them separately needs it it needs a lot of effort into it i i i listen to the morning uh, morning session i attend the morning section session while i w- work in the kitchen so i have never noted down this observation and from the next batch when i attend i i i decided that i'm going to note it down maybe that's going to help me in looking at all the step wise like more clearly coming to step 2 i am also able to observe whether my feelings are naturally acceptable to me but again this occurs only when i consciously pay attention and not at every moment i particularly notice the third step when i am in disharmony for example when someone says something that bothers me i start feeling disharmony wondering why they said this especially since i never say anything to anyone the concept of determining who decides the feeling i have is clear to me regarding step 4 however i sometimes experience disharmony again the same thing when someone says something and it takes time for me to regain my harmony 
while i understand this step i find it challenging to live according to it there is often a gap between my understanding my action leading to inner turmoil i struggle with it a lot for example i recognize that i am making a mistake or i am doing something but i find it difficult to avoid them one significant area of disharmony for me is my relationship with my mother in law though i lived with her for almost 35 years but still i have a lot of differences such as the difference of tidiness food preferences the prayer practices things like that she is of 80 years old and my mother in law cooks like delicious food and i'll share a few examples over here like where i could see the differences that we have i love to keep my home clean and i spend a lot of time every sunday cleaning it however within two days it, the same it happens the same it becomes the same messy again so it was one of the disharmony that i i i can't see something which is not there in its place like something happens in me immediately something happens in me it irritates me a lot but nowadays slowly i think i have understood that that's okay maybe that that's not a concern for her so that's okay so slowly i i started accepting it one more challenge that i face is regarding my husband's health my mother in law believes that her son should eat well and be strong even though at the age of 60 years old he he has lot of cancer like lot of health complications with his weight he is almost 106 kg and the doctor advised him to reduce his weight but it is difficult to achieve that in our household my son and i have tried a lot to motivate him and we also got some gym equipment but we were not successful in getting him to do anything he only manages to go for a 20 minute walk four or five times in a week even when i try to convince my husband to skip his dinner or eat some fruits for the night and all my mother in law is not happy with it i faced the same kind of challenge when i was trying to shift like go to a healthy diet or something like that so many a times what happens is to avoid a conflict with her i i respond telling okay the one and only word that i use a lot when conversing with her or talking to her is okay however as i am getting older maybe i find it increasingly difficult to restrain myself from showing the disharmony that i feel inside i know she is a good person like she helped me help me a lot especially in my career without her support i would ha- i wouldn't have been where i am now i have tried many a times to explain to her the importance of healthy eating and the complications that can arise from poor diet but it has been in vain i continue to struggle with this in the disharmony and my response is often i don't say anything but i withdraw myself and not engage in any conversation coming to step 5 i understand that my feelings are based on both understanding and assumption sometimes they are driven by my understanding while other times they stem up from assumption one more example i would like to quote here is when a student struggles to introduce himself in the initial classes and all i don't get irritated feeling that it's a simple task is not able to do i understand that they have some kind of fear they'll overcome it with some more opportunities and coming to step 6a the feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me i observe how my day progresses and how i perform my task well when i am in harmony in the same thing like opposite happens when i feel opposition i experience disharmony and discomfort the feeling of coexistence is also naturally acceptable to me i have recognized the presence of coexistence in existence even before coming in touch with the uhv content i'll give you one more example over here for instance my parents 
who live in our village planted a lot of trees around their house years back. Now all these trees started bearing fruits and many a time my mother is worried about birds and squirrels eating the fruits. I comfort her by saying that that's fine as animals also need the food and all, especially when we are encroaching on their habitat. Like I always felt that that part of my existence, I'm a part of this existence and uh, I feel that my lungs, like see, half of my lung is with me and the other part is with the tree that gives the oxygen to me. I can see that. Right. Step 6b, when I explore within to see coexistence, it is entirely in the context of nature and existence. I can perceive it. I have always felt connected to everything in nature. I'll give you one more example over here where I felt disharmony. We have a tree in our campus, college campus, which is called as Kadambamit, and it is considered to be sacred. So before the Lakshmi Puja day, on August 15th, when we went to college, like many of our faculty were plucking the flowers from there. And in that process, many of them pulled the leaves, branches, and they even broke few branches. I, I, I didn't like their behavior. I felt that plucking tree plant is okay, but harming the tree, that I could not see that. Step 7A and B, as I mentioned early, I observe that I'm in a state of harmony and happiness only when I hold the feelings of relationship, harmony, and coexistence within me. Coming to exercise two, I can clearly see that I exist as a separate entity from my body. We are two. That, that's, that's very clear to me. But here and there, I have a doubt like, where do I exist in my body? Like in my body or outside or something like that. Step two, I observe that I send, I, I send information to my body when needed. And this is clear. I understand that my body is just a tool. And how I use it depends on me. For example, if I see some appealing food, that I know isn't healthy for me, I consciously decide not to eat despite the sensory appeal, but still I I am able to restrict myself. I feel I know that. Step three, I give instructions to my body and decide which sensations to perceive. For instance, I used to worry a lot when I accidentally burned my hand in the kitchen, but now I don't let it bother me as much. The same goes with minor pains that I have. I fast on every ekadasi and sometimes even when I feel hungry, I chose not to pay attention to that sensation. Similarly, when my legs get become numb during meditation, I don't read that sensation until my meditation is complete. And one more example is there's a temple close to my house. They play songs every morning from 5.30 to 6.30. Initially, these songs were very disturbing to me when I was listening to the morning session. But now I don't even hear them. Coming to step four and five, these steps are not entirely clear to me. I have some understanding but require further exploration. Coming to 6a, step 6a, I tend to react if my sanskar is based on assumption. I realize that I decide my feelings. Whether I am happy or unhappy is, some, is based on external inputs, which leads me to react. I do have this. Step 6b, I respond when my samskar is based on understanding. I'm in harmony with a right understanding and my feeling remains natural. Step 7, I understand that I am in coexistence and the space and that my body is also in coexistence with the space. I also recognize that space is all pervading and energetic. And our existence depends on the space around us. I understand that happiness is my innate nature and my approach to ensuring continuous happiness involves staying engaged with the UHV content and working on my assumptions. I clearly see that sensations or external sources of feelings are temporary and do not contribute to sustained happiness. I am disciplined in my eating habits and understand that clothes do not bring respect. They just simply need to make me comfortable. That's all. They are for my comfort. 
I practice yoga regularly to keep my body healthy, recognizing that it is my responsibility to nurture my body. I make it a point to engage with the UHV content whenever I have time, listening to it for a deeper understanding of the proposal so that I can live in alignment with them. I acknowledge that my body is a tool and is temporary. I also accept that some of my thoughts and actions are influenced by preconditioning. I know I need to work on these areas. Regarding my commitment, I consistently attend weekly team building and regional meetings, listening to the content for greater clarity. I realize that I need to dedicate more time to this practice. At our college, the UHV subject has been introduced as a three credit course. Initially, there were like many faculty, like no one came forward, like everyone were reluctant to take this subject. But now, slowly, with a lot of effort, we are a team of 10 faculty members now who, like, who willingly came forward. And uh, we see this as an opportunity for our own self-exploration and helping our students develop the right understanding. And regarding my volunteering, I have expressed my interest in volunteering to my regional coordinator, and I am currently waiting for an opportunity to work. As a volunteer, I can dedicate an hour every day for this work. With the guidance of my mentor and support of my co explorers and my guidance of my regional coordinator, I'm committed to this journey. Though I know there's a lot, still a long way to go, but I'm grateful for all that I have and I'm grateful for all the support that I get from everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now, uh, may I request Global Bhaiya for his comments regarding this sharing? So, yeah, over to you. Namaste, Vijay. Namaste, Baba. So, two things I want to share with you in connection with your sharing. So number one is principles and number two is process. So whatever principles discussing here are universal. That's why it is very easy and natural to accept those principles. But the second point is the process. The process will help us to assimilate those principles, to realize those principles, and to live accordingly. So, in terms of process, process means whatever we are practicing in this exercise one and two in morning session. So, if you see the process, process is helping us to make us to that state where I can be unaffected from outside environment. And we are calling it the state of pure observer. Right? So when I am at this state of pure observer, then I can be unaffected from, from outside people, outside environment. In fact, events which are happening at body also. So we can be unaffected with all those. Once I am unaffected, then I can have a feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence. And with that state, I will be complement to others. So now if other person is aware of himself or herself or not, whether he is understanding these principles or not. Because I have understood, I am stable, I am unaffected from outside. So I will be complimenting him or her each time, unconditionally. Because my happiness is ensured with my state of pure Now I have to complement others' happiness. So whenever we make any program, for this complementarity, it will be different 
because the program will also depend on other sanskar so if one has good sanskar he will understand my feeling immediately but if some person is stuck in materialistic things or physically at the level of body he will take time to understand me but one thing is clear that i am stable i am happy because i have gone through this process and with this clarity i am aware that other person has to go through this process then that person uses stable inside then he can take care of his body he can take care of other relatives he can take care of his environment so ultimately we have to help other person to go into this process so this is the whole program how can i intact how can i be stable so principle process and understanding this process i have to help other persons so that everyone may go into this process and they may be happy and then they can take care of their health then they can take care of relations etc so many times you are doing this so we have to interact outside and we have to go through this process all the time at each step in combination of both it will help to create a harmonious environment around you and you are trying to do this thing but more consciously you can do this at each step so that's all from my side with you Hope are you able to communicate? Thank you, thank you, Bhaiya. Sure, sure, Bhaiya, sure. I'll I'll follow the words and I'll put a lot of effort into me being first stable inside so that I can do something for the others or the environment around me. Thank you, Bhaiya. Okay, thank you. Ji, uh, thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, Shamla Didi, your comments. Also, thank you. जी, 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 नमस्ते 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 उषा उषा शर्मला कैन सी दैट यू आर ऑलरेडी वे ऑन द पाथ ऑफ एक्सप्लोरेशन पर यू वर ऑलरेडी टू सम एक्सटेंट रेडी फॉर इट विद योर संस्कार फ्रॉम बिफोर एंड विद वट एवर प्रोसेस यू आर involved in you mentioned yoga meditation all those things so uh, very nice that uh, you are finding this um useful you mentioned about you know suppressing feelings at work and then carrying them home having an effect on the family members i think it is very uh, a significant observation that you have made and uh, the fact that you are able to notice this the fact that you need you can see that you need to work on this that itself is a very big step that uh, you have already taken on the journey so all the very best to you best wishes on your future exploration also time is up at this time but we'll be in touch and we'll talk okay all the best thank you very much thank you so much